So now we're going to move on to our next topic, which is going to be the sandbox environment. And we have uh, who better to present the sandbox environment than the guy who designed it? So let's uh, give a little welcome here to Vishal. Hello, everyone. Um, thank you, Piers, for the introduction. Um, I'm Vishal Agarwal, and uh, I'm a product manager. And uh, one of the key things that we released at QuickBooks Connect was the sandbox environment. Um, we received very, very great reviews about about our sandbox environment. And uh, you know, I'll I'll just go over the whole sandbox flow and and you know how how you as developers can start working with the sandbox environment. So the first thing is you know what is sandbox? You know the the question that that some folks have asked me is what is sandbox and you know consider a sandbox as a play area for developers you know it's a environment designed just for debugging testing you know as you're developing your app you can use this environment to to you know play around with you know the the environment without touching any any production data or any production environment and at the same time you know you can perform all the operations that you want that you would usually perform on a production environment. So it's it's basically a play area for, for the developers uh, to get you started. Um, you know, what are the key attributes of, of a sandbox? You know, it's it's the, the sandbox that we release is an exact replica of our production environment. So what you can do on production environment, you can do it on our sandbox environment. Definitely there are some things that are disabled, uh, but you know those things were disabled because they did not apply to a sandbox environment. It provides you with an out-of-box experience. It, it, it gives you a zero setup mode. So you know if I consider, if, if, if you look at what you had to do before, we provided a sandbox environment. Say you are a new developer, you come to our portal and you know you, you want to start developing your app. How do you go about doing that before we provided you with a sandbox environment? You would go to uh, QuickBooks, you would create a trial company, you know, with, with some fake email address and, and then try working with that with that company and you know try to get it extended or or reach to our support team and wait on them to get back to you uh, with a sample company uh, so that you can start developing your environment. And what did we just do with the sandbox that we released? You don't have to do any of that. As soon as you sign up on our portal, we automatically provision a sandbox environment for you. So let me go back to, let me, let me start off with our portal flow. How does our portal flow look like? <clears throat> so this is our portal and let me go ahead and sign in <clears throat> with my username and password. So if, if now definitely I have signed in as an existing user, however if I signed up as a new user, a sandbox would be automatically provisioned for you. In addition to, if if you were coming to our new portal for the first time and you use the credentials from your old portal, we will provision a new sandbox environment for you as well. So if we go back and if I go under my name and I go over your sandbox, basically what you see is, you know, that you have a sandbox company that is provisioned for you. You know, we, we provision both QuickBooks accounting and payment sandbox for you. So, you know, as Pia said, we released a new payments API. You want to develop on that new payments API, you can use the same sandbox environment. Both of them are automatically provisioned for you. You have to do absolutely nothing. Now, if, if I click on the launch button, <clears throat> if you noticed, it took me to sandbox.qbo.intuit.com. And Basically, this is your sandbox QuickBooks company that was provisioned for you. You know, it says my name, Vishal Agarwal Sandbox Company. This is a sandbox environment. So, you know, you don't have to go to qbo.intuit.com anymore if you want to start developing your app. Basically, a, a, a QBO company was provisioned for you automatically. In addition to that, what we do is, if you notice, there is already some sample data 
that that we provision as a part of the sandbox creation the data that is contained within the sandbox environment is basically we give you 141 transactions 31 customers 26 vendors four employees 20 items so it's basically a very very generic uh, data of the industry type construction trade that you can start working with right now basically so no work required for you out of the box experience you know you can get started now now <clears throat> one another thing I want to mention is if you noticed I was just automatically logged into the sandbox environment now if you go to sandbox.qbo.intuit.com directly and you want to log into your sandbox environment you have you can use the same credentials basically the exact same credentials that you use to log into your developer portal into the developer portal you use the exact same credentials for the sandbox environment no need for a new sign up nothing it's the same credentials it's all seamless so it's it's basically a one click and and you get everything is done for you um, <clears throat> now I wanna you know talk about some use cases of how you can use the sandbox environment right so I, I like to start off with the sample app so you know at QuickBooks Connect we released a couple of sample apps time tracking and e-commerce um, you know let's start with the time tracking one you can actually test drive the code literally from the portal so this is our new transaction tool if you noticed you know it's talking to my sandbox company that I just showed you and you know basically let's try to add an employee so you know let me change the name of the employee and, and let me try to run the code so now what is happening is it's actually running the code against the sandbox company so you know if you look at the response object it, it says the employee that was created and at the same time I if I click on this button see in QuickBooks right it will take me to the employees page and this is the em employee that was just created so as you saw it's basically making a call to your sandbox company and it's all live on our portal you can make this happen directly from the portal uh, there are some additional steps in here uh, for the time tracking uh, that you can go through on your own but what I want to spend some time again is on you know the actual code basically so you know for the time tracking app you can actually go and download the whole code um, sorry uh, from github and you know this is this is all there and and you can get the code onto your machine and and it's all configured to run with your sandbox company so let me show you how this this um, code will run and how it will look like so you know I'm, I have the code set up on my machine I have imported all of it um, one another thing you you will have to do is you'll need a app created so I have created an app called time tracking app um, if you look at the keys basically you will need to copy paste the keys from here for this app into the code so if I go over here and I look at OAuth.json basically you know I have my app token consumer key consumer secret all set up over here uh, which is exactly matching to my um, app that was there now if I go ahead and run this code so we'll just go ahead and run this code um, it will just do some setup and um, <clears throat> as soon as we see ready over here now I can go to this URL and basically the first thing I do is connect my app to QuickBooks so again you know when you do the connect to QuickBooks button the first thing you would do is uh, let me let me sign out from here and let me go through the sign in process so again what I'm using here is my same credentials as my developer portal account which was used to log into my sandbox company so I'm, I'm using the same credentials and the time tracking app that I have on my uh, portal setup I'm authorizing the app to make calls to that company so now you know this app is now 
provision to talk to that company, Sandbox company. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to push employees, Brian Ruff and Paul Simmons, into QuickBooks from this app into QuickBooks. So as soon as I, as I hit sync, um, it will push those over there and it will tell me the QBO IDs. And if I click on view in QuickBooks, it's again going to my uh, sandbox QuickBooks company and you know these are the Brian Ruff and Paul Simmons are the two employees that we just pushed our uh, you know pushed into the QuickBooks company going back you know I'm now pushing customers <clears throat> and the customer names are Alvin Lee Brad Hall the QBO IDs are 69 and 70 again you know when I go and look them in QuickBooks you know Alvin Lee is right here Brad Hall is right here we just push those customers into uh, QuickBooks. Um, the last one, service items. So this will basically push in research and deposition with a rate of $50 an hour and $100 an hour into QuickBooks. Again, when I go into and look into it, you know, I see deposition over here and I should see research as well in here. So, you know, basically the sample app, we just pushed all of our uh, initial data set into QuickBooks. The next step would be, you know, let's do a time entry. Um, let me select an employee. The date would be, you know, yesterday. Let me select a customer. Uh, you know, Brian did some research for Alvin at $50 an hour and he spent, say, two hours on it. You know, research work and hit save. So what is now, what it just did is it pushed the time activity into QBO with a QBO ID of eight. And you can see that this time activity was now pushed. Now let's go ahead and create an invoice for this time activity. So total pending invoice is one. If I click on it, I can go ahead and hit generate. So now this is generating an invoice in QuickBooks. Uh, let's go and see this generated invoice in QuickBooks. So, you know, this was the invoice that I just generated, research, um, you know, two hours at a rate of $50, and, you know, this is the invoice that just got pushed. So, you know, as, as you saw, you know, we just went through a whole time activity sample app that is talking to our sandbox environment, and, and it's really, like, very, very seamless for you to, to work with this. Um, if I look, go back to the code, one of the things that you will have to do is, you know, when you're talking to the QuickBooks sandbox, you'll have to use this URL, which is sandbox-quickbooks.api.intuit.com. So, you know, it's it's not quickbooks.api.intuit.com, but sandbox-quickbooks.api.intuit.com if you want to make calls to the API on the sandbox environment. For payments API, it would be api.sandbox.api.intuit.com. So, uh, you know, basically the time, uh, time tracking sample app, we just went through the whole flow, we just sync some items and customers and employees, we created a time activity, and finally we created an invoice for that time activity. Um, one other thing I want to point out is, you know, if you look at the sample code, you know, there is this file QBO gateway uh, under uh, main Java. Basically, you know, this is the file where most of the magic happens where, you know, you create the employee in QBO, you create customer in QBO, and we are using the uh, Java SDK to make all of those calls. <clears throat> so, you know, as, as, as we saw, the sandbox enables quick onboarding and easy debugging and testing. Uh, I want to point out some things about the, about the sandbox environment. Um, if, if you go into the audit log of the sandbox, you might see, uh, you know, that the username is Craig Carlson. Some of the old users of the sandbox might see the user as Craig uh, Carlson, but we have fixed this and it should now moving forward, uh, you know, for new users, say, as that user's uh, name in there. Um, another thing is today our sandbox environment is specifically only for um, U.S. companies only, um, you know, and, and currently the, the roadmap that we have set up is we are working towards uh, global companies and, and providing, you know, Australia, U.K., Canada, et cetera, companies on the sandbox environment where we will be able to, you will be able to create uh, 
sandbox companies for those regions to test your app. Um, in addition, you know, we are we are also planning to provide you with multiple data sets that you can work with, um, you know, as, as your test data. So, um, you know, to, to wrap it up, basically, you know, Sandbox, it's, it's one of the most important tools and, uh, you know, we are trying to make uh, your life, the developer's life, as easy as possible and provide all the tools that we can provide uh, to get you onboarded, uh, started, uh, and, and, you know, get, get your app going in, 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 in no time, basically.